All right, welcome back. Welcome back. So, I wanted to point this out before I forget to mention it to you guys. So is it the D report? Yes. Because I want to talk about the D report. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that too. But when I looked at the map as uh, Sora, yes. it has a keyblade for where his thing is. Yes. But Riku has a little, his darkness sword. Darkness sword, yes. Uh, and then D's report is D's nuts. <laughs> D is actually a character we meet later. I, I thought it was a journal and who has the biggest and bestest dick. That too. I was expecting Sora to be at the top of that list. That too. <laughs> and then you go through the book and you're like, Okay, yep, Sora is exactly where I expected him to be, but who's tier two? Uh, yes, tier two is nominee? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't have to do that weird bullshit charge thing. Oh, that seems incredibly powerful. One could argue it might be too, too powerful. powerful. And we gotta level up now. Oh boy, we got a blank black card. So we can either raise his health, his fist, his, his strength, sword, or his, or his heart. darkness. Darkness boost? The fuck does the darkness boost do? It's a thing we get later. Okay. We just figured I'd show you the darkness, darkness, darkness. I do, I feel. I'm one with the darkness. Lightning blade. No, no, wait. Darkness blade. I fixed it. Darkness, darkness, darkness. Oh, yo. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too far into it yet. So Attack on Titan season four has finally aired its first episode on Toonami, and as we all know, I'm a huge Attack on Titan fan, and I can't wait to talk about it. So, I mean, we got a second level up already, dude. Op. Fucking super OP, dude. Um, now, I'm not going to talk about it a lot, though, because it's just, it's literally episode one of season four, and it literally gave us, like, nothing. But. Like you do. Holy shit. I have no idea what the f is happening. It literally started it in the middle of a war between two factions that have barely been established in previous seasons and didn't show us a single recurring character except for two characters. But, like, it didn't establish. Fuck all. <laughs> Dude, I I love Attack on Titan so much. Like, it literally showed us two characters that we knew about before, but didn't establish if this is taking place in the future, or the past, or at the same time, or fucking what the fuck. <laughs> it just, like, it just did shit. <laughs> Is like in the middle of a war in a land that we barely know anything about. It's like so we briefly learned about. What it you're in the telling third me season. is they went to the greatest school of uh, storytelling ever, <laughs> where they don't tell you anything. They did. They, they, I could literally argue that they didn't tell us anything and then immediately jump the shark, <laughs> which is an amazing combination because normally to jump the shark you have to do something so outrageous with your characters that it seems incredibly unlikely. And instead, they just did something incredibly unlikely, and then didn't explain any of it. <laughs> like you do. But yeah, it's it's. I'm, it's I'm, great. I'm engaged. I can't wait until it's over because I can finally be like, I've watched all of the tag on Titan, and I agree, it's bad. <laughs> and my opinion hasn't changed. So I mean, I don't know. It could be good because now it's like. Let's let's put it this way. If it keeps going down this road, that means we're not gonna see Aaron, and Aaron is the worst part of that. Did <laughs> you say the main character is the worst part of a show? I mean, most people say the same thing about uh, Evangelion, which I kind of agree with them. <laughs> I'm with you there too. But also, I'm like, at least he has like a good reason to be a whiny bitch. <laughs> he didn't ask for any of that. His life is fucking horrible. Also, he's literally the day. He's, he's literally the Alex Mason. I never asked for this character. <laughs> like it. I don't know. See, I, I can't remember if it's in the original, like, anime. I gotta rewatch the original anime at some point for uh, Evangelion. But they did it in the movie, which I think justifies his actions more, where they're like... You can leave at any point. We won't stop you. So and then just they immediately and they do. Immediately stop. <laughs> and then, and then they give him shit for running away from his problems. It's like, bitch, you told him he could do it. <laughs> like, fuck yourself. Oh, I hate it because it's so true. It's just like <laughs> you can leave if you want to. He tries to leave, and they yeah. fucking like they, throw him in prison. They literally send an entire police force after him. <laughs> 
just like, really? He can leave when he wants to? Yeah, nice, nice lying to him, man. Yeah, I believe it completely. So, if he won't pilot it, Ray, Ray will, will pilot, pilot it. it. Yes, yes, let Ray pilot the I, robot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I also love, uh, I also love Evangelion if it was produced by Michael Bay is amazing. That fucking comedy one where he's just like, <laughs> you need to pile up the things and kill all the rooms. Let's fucking do this shit. <laughs> he just just goes around murdering and fucking everything in the universe. <laughs> he kills one of the angels and he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna eat this motherfucker. <laughs> he's just, he's He's just eating, he's like, oh, yeah, it's fucking disgusting, but I'm gonna do it because I said I'm gonna do it. <laughs> he eats this whole fucking thing. It's fucking so gross. <laughs> yeah, shit. And he, like, gets to the part where he's like, Shinji, I'll make this world whatever you want. You know what? Fuck it. Make me a new world. <laughs> and he's just like, King sitting on a horde of dead bodies and naked women. He's like, yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> Which is 100% how I'd expect Michael Bay to make the Evangelion movie. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I agree with you there. <laughs> he goes to attack one of the angels and literally just face fucks him with the robot. <laughs> The main, the main difference is that they didn't put in the shot where, where uh, he jerks off over the unconscious body of a girl in a hospital, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Michael Bay would've definitely kept that in and probably brought it up to like an 11. <laughs> probably would've been a full rape scene. <laughs> if it was a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Remember, if they didn't say no, then it's kind of a yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Make everything as bad as possible. <laughs> yeah. Ah. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait for two reasons. One, because I'm kind of curious where this absolute nonsensical plot is going for Attack on Titan. But also, I am... Like, just super happy that, like, after the season ends, like, that's the end of Attack on Titan. Done. Like, I never have to see it or hear about it ever again. <laughs> like, that would just be the end of it. Yeah, no, I agree with you, man. See, I've realized that I, I had, um, I had two friends who were super into Attack on Titan. Which is unusual, because out of all my friends, they were the only two friends that liked Attack on Titan. <laughs> Literally everyone else I talked to was like... Nah, it's, it's, it's not good. <laughs> it's pretty bad. And I was having my girl like I don't like Attack on Titan so much. My girlfriend, anytime she sees an Attack on Titan thing and we're together, she makes a joke. She's like, "It's your favorite anime," and I'm just like, "I love you, but I hate you at this moment." <laughs> it was. I, I used to have a theory that, uh, and I still stand by this theory. And it's anyone who's a big fan of Attack on Titan has not been a fan of anime for very long. <laughs> Or like, even good storytelling. Like, like they're just they're just new fucking anime Rage. people who are just blown away because it has blood in it and it's a cartoon. Uh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> so graphic. <laughs> whoa, look at the graphics. Let me get my hands on these. Says Nintendo kid. That's not real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> says Nintendo kid who's not real. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking. Uh, because it was funny, because, like, everyone who's a fan of, uh... Yeah, everyone I know who is, like, right a fan of Attack on... Uh, no, a fan of, uh, anime, I, like, asked them, like, what do you think of Attack on Titan? Every single one of them, like, yeah, it's not... It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, it's weird. All the people I know who've been watching anime for five years or so think it's awful, and all the people who literally started with the show think it's amazing. Hmm. So, <laughs> we've already gained some levels, and our deck's changed already, Chris? Neat. Tell me when I care. <laughs> it's just one of those things just like, but why? But why not? Think about that. Why no the good dos? Good Spanish. See. Si. <laughs> See. Si.
I love it's doing that. Spanish. You fucked up. You fucked up the English. I love doing that to people because they look at you and they're like, "What?" Uh, all I know is me amigo. See, sí. no comprende español. Sí. Which gets you, which at least answers. People asking you questions in Spanish. <laughs> no comprende espanol. No comprende espanol. <laughs> uh, what was I going to I was going to say something. Attack on Titan is the best show ever uh, made. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Like, it's funny though, because they, they were like into Attack on Titan. And it's funny because as the seasons have gone on, I've been more and more like. Yeah, this isn't as bad as it was, at least. Like, at least it feels like it's getting kind of more interesting and there's, like, still stuff bad. happening. Yeah, like, it's still not good, but, like... Well, can I really call something good if I have to wait, like, three and a half seasons to get anything interesting out of it? It's two and a half seasons... No, uh, yeah, two and a half seasons to get anything interesting out of it. Yeah, because it's the like, greatest show ever made, and everybody will tell you that. Like, do I... Like, is it really worth it when they... Like, the first two seasons are so incredibly terrible? Like, it's like the opposite of Attack on... Or, uh, Sword on Online, where it's like, some of the seasons are bad, but most of the seasons are okay. <laughs> like, like, Attack on Titan is like, bad, 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 and then it's like, hey, it's kind of interesting now, right? And it's like, yeah, but like, Jesus Christ, it's been so long. <laughs> what I love about Attack on, uh, not Attack on Titan, Sword Arc Online, yeah. everybody was like, it's the greatest show ever made! And then it, and then it quickly became, and then it became the, the worst, worst show, show ever made. It's because season two is, fuck it, I will, I will, I will see, season two of Attack on Titan is arguably the worst anime season ever. Like, ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's worse than Attack on Titan. And that's saying something. You said Attack the second season of Attack on Titan is the, the worst anime ever made. You meant Sword yeah. Arc Online. No, 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 did I? Okay, yes. No, Sword Arc Well, it's kind of a toss up between Sword Arc Online Season 2 <laughs> and Attack on Titan Season 2, I'm gonna be honest. But, like, I would say Sword Arc Online Season 2 is vastly worse than Attack on Titan Season 1. <laughs> like, vastly worse. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not great. <laughs> yes. Like, if I had to pick a worst season for an anime ever, it would be a literal, like... Sh it, it would literally be me throwing Attack on Titan Season 2 and Sword Art Online Season 2 into the air, closing my eyes and firing a shotgun. <laughs> and just seeing which I hit. That's the greatest show ever made, though. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, guys. Because uh, Sword Art Online is like... Season 1 is really good, although some people think it's horrible. I think they're... I don't. I think they just don't know what they were expecting. Because <laughs> most of them were like, it was terrible. I was expecting more about them trying to escape and the brutality of it, and then it turned into a, a romance thing. And I'm like, have you never watched any anime ever? Like, yeah. <laughs> unless you're going, if unless they're like that was their per the premise of the show, it's gonna turn into a love story. And even Dragon Ball has fucking romance and relationships in it. It's just incredibly brief. <laughs> yeah. They they really put it on the back burner. Yeah. Like. It's, it's literally the equivalent of being like, and now they're a thing, and they have a kid. I bet you were curious how that shit worked out. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, fucking, uh, Gohan and Videl. See, Gohan and Videl is, like, the only the thing they only actually one really that's, like, set up. actually long-term development. Like, Goku and Chi-Chi is, like, kind of, sort of. And they, It's implied like, that they, like, really hit it off between the seasons. Yeah. Like... Well, it's, it's implied that they hit it off because they both like fighting, and they both enter the tournament to see who fights good. <laughs> I love that logic. And then, well, and then Chi Chi gets annoyed because you know, Goku doesn't want to spend her t his time, you know, doing things when he's always been about fighting. Yeah. Like, girl, you married him because of that. <laughs> yeah, right. The classics. Uh, the one that's like completely fucking like, yeah, that shit just kind of worked out is, is Bulma and, uh, Vegeta. Bulma and Vegeta is just like the biggest, like, the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Are we really not gonna explain that at all? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Actually, they do, they briefly explain it as, yeah, he's been living with me because he has nowhere else to live, but it's like, but why though? Because <laughs> she wants some of that say and D. <laughs> Like, that's horrible. <laughs> like, that's so out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, it's alright, Yantra at least gets his family. Oh wait, no he doesn't. No, he, doesn't. <laughs> he gets baseball. That's pretty cool. 
everything. Is how I remember. Even this room. This is where I spent four years. Even this room. Even these books. They might look nice to be back in your old bedroom. Thanks to all the memories. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Melissa gave me this room. And so she did, and you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You couldn't have lived there that long. <laughs> <laughs> you cast away your fr home, your friends, everything. But at least they gave you a nice room. Stop talking! <laughs> I would have thought it was funnier if he was just like, yeah, it is a nice room, eh? Oh, you're not wrong. It's pretty nice. You know what they say. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> you knew the exact joke I was making. Oh no! Oh man. It's a good thing I fucking demon flipped away from that shit. <laughs> like it! Take this. What I love about Riku is you don't have to think, you can just mash X. What I like about Riku is that he asks all of his enemies after killing them if he liked it or not. Like it! He's very considerate and made sure he's feeling for their emotions. No wonder Nominee was into making a clone of him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But Maleficent, how will this help with my training? Quiet, now remove your second pass. <laughs> too much? Like it! Yeah, too much? Probably too much. <laughs> Man, the fanfics really raid themselves, especially when you're a lunatic like I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh god. Those moments, I wish I had artistic talent. I, my my Patreon would be out of unbelievable. Out of control. Out of control. <laughs> I get it, man. They'd probably ban me in a week. Because <laughs> yeah. like I'm gonna be honest, most of it would be we played this show, and then Riku says one line like like it, and then I'm like, I got a fucking horrible idea. <laughs> I get it though, that, that would be me too. Like, there would be times when I hear like a line out of context, and I'm like, how is that not porn? <laughs> uh, we're good people, I swear. We at least pretend to be. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> I don't think you understand how swinging swords work there. <laughs> I shall attack in front. <laughs> I've done it. That was the only enemy. Woot woot. Woot woot. Yeah, teach those fucking orbs what's for. They hit you and they make you confused. Oh. That's why I got rid of them. I understand now. Oh, he's so nice. Like it? Yes. I do like it. I mean, it makes sense. When you're ravaging someone, you want to ask if they're liking it. <laughs> It's just the polite thing to do. Yeah, I mean, during sex, I always ask the part my partner if they were having a decent time with it. <laughs> they always respond like, yeah, I guess so. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about it until you asked. Yeah, they give you lukewarm answers. <laughs> it's my favorite part of my sex. You like it? It's okay. We should be writing fanfics. I think I think people would really get behind the lukewarmness of them. <laughs> you like it? I, I mean, it's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> it's so close to me. <laughs> God, another way funny picture. <laughs> oh, you like it? You like it? <laughs> she liked it and she's all still on her cell phone, like, huh? What? What were you saying? <laughs> the entire subcategory of porn about that. Uh, oh, trust me, I'm aware. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> As they say. <laughs> he 
It's so nice. There is something absolutely hilarious to me about shit like that, though. Just the lukewarmness hey. of like, yeah, okay. How is it? It's alright, I guess. <laughs> it's fine, whatever. Are you still talking to me? Check is in the mail. Check better be in the mail. <laughs> That's like a fucking, um, that's like an anime that I just heard about but know nothing about, so I probably shouldn't bring it up, but I want to bring it up just because I think the concept is funny. I think it's called Rent a Girlfriend. Yes. And it's like, that's like the whole fucking anime. Yes. Like that. And I'm like, that's awful. Also, that's probably hilarious. I, I might read that at some point. I know that, I think I've, I've seen a little bit of it, and I think, like, part of it is, like, some guys keep renting the same people and they actually fall in love, but it's still, that's still like a, this is a stupid premise and I love it. Makes sense. Uh, there's one that I've, I've seen clips of and I'm like, I need to actually watch this show. And I think it's called My Love Story is the English translation. But the mm -hmm. entire premise is of this guy is in, falls in love with a girl and she likes him back, but he thinks... She, she likes his best friend, uh, but so he, he also looks. But he friend. also looks like a giant fucking gorilla. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Statements. So, so it's one of those like, but why? But why though? <laughs> but why though? But why? <laughs> I get that. Um, that was in fucking. Uh, I don't know. You ever watched the season two slash three? Ooh, yeah, it's a little bit. I don't remember which season it was, but there's one where like one of the dudes is like, "Whoa!" <laughs> but, yeah, holy shit. He's like, "This is my girlfriend from out of town or whatever," and the girl is like the super bubbly, cute, like clearly out of his league girl. And then at the end of it, she's just like this fucking like, "Yeah, I did what the fuck? Did you give me my fucking paycheck? You fucking loser, bitch!" You know, fucking like just super harsh, like asshole. Oh, like. I love it. Only cares about money. He's like smoking shit. I think she was smoking. I forget. My money different anime. Anyways, I'm like, <laughs> but I just remember seeing that. I'm like, ah, yes. That makes way more sense. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. I'd be pretty good at that. Being a fake boyfriend. Yeah. Cause like, the whole point is to not be emotionally invested, and I'm really good at that. <laughs> Yeah. But it's also about pretending, and I'm also really good at pretending. I'm like, hashtag I'm like I right. like I pretend I'm not depressed all the time. It works great for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean you're right. <laughs> Man. What's the um you never watched the full thing of Fooly Cooly uh, 1 and 2? Probably. I, I Honestly, everything's blurring together at this point in my life. I can't remember anything. People were like... People were very harsh on that show. They were like, this is bad. This is bad. Because not as good as the first one. And I was just like, one... Shouldn't have expected it to be first off because the original dude isn't working on it. Second off... It's still pretty good. Like, it's not like that bad of a fucking show, guys. I love that everybody's just like, things aren't as good as what they were before, and it's just like, nostalgia is a part of a thing, guys. Yeah, well, it's like... Like, yes, it's, it's, it could not, it might not be I mean, actually as bad as the other one, but it's a different people making it. it. The problem isn't, like, it not being good. It's the fact that for some reason people will just expect everything to be, like, vastly superior than the first version. I blame video games for that. Because video games have a super easy job because all they have to do to make the second game better than the first one is to make it control better. And people will yeah, be like, wow, this is better. so much better. That's <laughs> why That's why when we get to Kingdom Hearts 2, Chris, yeah. I'll be like, yeah, this is a great game because it controls better. Yeah. Like, but like, storytelling-wise, it's like the only way to make it better is to make a better story, but that's going to be super subjective depending on the fucking person. So, <laughs> And on that note... Yep. Yeah. And with that, we'll uh, pick it up in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.